So, when we were working with expansions, you probably remember that we have done some perfect square problems and some difference of squares. So, as you were told before, those are, well, sometimes not mandatory for you to understand the concepts or for you to solve the problems. However, they give you a lot of speed because you don't have to think very much about the problems themselves. So let's see some of those difference of squares here, now going backwards, because now we're factorizing. So we've got here x squared minus 4. So x squared minus 4, if you remember, this is, um, this is x squared minus 2 squared. Right? So that's a difference of two squares. Right? So this can be written as x minus 2 and x plus 2. As simple as that. That's the first one which you had squared and the second one which you had squared. And the signs, one is positive and one is negative. The order doesn't matter since, since this is a product. If you expand backwards, you should get your number back. So let me show you that. Th this is the answer. Okay, when you're factorizing, that's the answer, that's the final answer. What I'm doing now is showing you that it works. So x times x, that's x squared. x times 2, um, that's positive 2x. Oops. Now, negative 2 times x, that's negative 2x. And negative 2 times 2, that's negative 4. So we can cross those out because they are the same but different signs. And again, we get back to our x squared minus 4, which was our initial problem. Right? Okay, so second problem. First thing that we have to do is something that often students forget and make that makes your life much easier. And sometimes you will not be able to solve the problem um, unless you do that because it's going to be a lot of labor and you might not have a, cal a calculator with you. So let's see, we've got negative 3x squared and 48. The first thing that you have to notice is that we have a common factor. We can factorize this by 3. If you add 4 and 8, right, the, the digits, that's 12, which is a um, that's a number which is a, a uh, 3 is a factor of 12, right? So, that's a, so 12 is a multiple of 3. So we can divide it by 3. So 48 divided by 3 would be... So first one is simply negative x squared. And the second one is plus, right? Because this is positive, 16 isn't it? So if we multiply 16 by 3, we get back to 48. And then, well, if we notice, we can rearrange some of the things which are inside here. So we can rewrite this as negative x squared plus 4 squared. And then, well, let's change the order a bit. So this might be a bit more pleasant. So 4 squared minus x squared. If you notice, this is a difference of squares. My first term is 4, my second one is x. So this can be rewritten as 3 times 4 minus x, 4 plus x. And again, if you expand, you will get back to your initial result. Simply because, take a look, if you multiply 4 by negative x, that's going to be negative 4x. And if you multiply 4 by positive x, you're going to have exactly the same thing but opposite signs. So they will always cancel out. So that's what we call difference of squares. And sometimes it makes your life much easier. So remembering those um, will be a very useful tool for you. Next, let's do some perfect squares.